Crypto airdrops are a great way to start building your wealth in crypto with zero to little cash to begin with. The general idea is that you do some actions, you do some testing of various protocols, various blockchains, various apps, and thanks to that, the given protocol will airdrop you the real uh, crypto, the, the, their token later on. So basically what you have to look when you're looking for crypto airdrops is look for the protocols, look for the applications or blockchains that don't have their token out yet. So for example, you could look for the new blockchains that are coming that already launched a testnet, a devnet, so you can play around for free. This is like the, the best option. This exactly happened with Aptos. Uh, this might happen with Sui as well. So you're looking for a blockchain, they launched a testnet. Uh, you needed to like mint an NFT on uh, Aptos to get an airdrop, uh, but the, uh, the minting of the NFT was for free. So this was like the best option. And then you, you were getting Aptos tokens uh, worth over $1,000 on the mainnet that you could sell or keep uh, for the for, for the long term uh, period, so definitely the first thing you have to check is tokenless protocols, and this is what DeFi Llama is doing for you. This is super interesting. This is one of the two tools I'm using to check what's going on, and it's really great. Uh, the address is DeFiLlama.com. I will put the link down below. Uh, slash airdrops and you can see exactly that so as you can see on the list it's tokenless protocols that my airdrop and they're going through different categories like dexes so different exchanges so for example aptos swap is number one on aptos you have anime swap and another version of a dex on aptos uh, you have a bunch of different uh, apps here you see like liquid staking uh, bridges bridges are also great to to try uh, a derivative so that's a platform there's a bunch of different stuff that you can try playing around probably dexes are the easiest to understand most of the dexes give uh, tokens to the to the users so if you did any kind of swap on the dex then probably you will be able to qualify for an airdrop in the future of course if, if a given uh, swap will launch its own token because it's not always a given Another great tool that I truly recommend is airdrops.io. Uh, basically the same story. They have the recent airdrops, uh, holder airdrops. So holder airdrops means that you need to hold something to, uh, to get this airdrop. So for example, if uh, POW, so if you had any kind of if, then basically you have this fork and you could use the, uh, the chain and you got some free if tokens. Another one is the Gnosis Safe. Uh, if you uh, created a Gnosis Safe and interacted with it and just deposited some kind of money, then basically uh, you'll be able, you'll be eligible for for the airdrop here. Um, and there are a bunch of other stuff as well that you can all go into. What's really interesting is going into potential airdrops up above. So this is all speculative, very much similar to what's on DeFi Llama. And as you can see, it's potential retroactive DeFi airdrops. The whole idea is again. If you're an early user, then maybe you will get some free tokens for a particular to uh, for, 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 from a particular application. Uh, they give this example of Uniswap, one inch, uh, one inch uh, day Y, day X. So definitely like Uniswap was a really big airdrop for all the users that were using the, the Uniswap for swapping the tokens. Uh, they airdrop them uh, the tokens. Uh, actually a very similar thing happened to looks rare. Uh, so, so if you were using LuxRare, again, trading NFTs on, for example, uh, OpenSea, then you basically got uh, LuxRare for free. Another example, ENS domains. Again, if you were uh, creating an ENS domain uh, up to a certain point, they took a snapshot and then you were able to claim uh, ENS tokens. So the idea here is the same. You need to look for the new applications uh, or uh, for new blockchains, so for example, like layer zero, which is building this omni-chain, I covered that in a separate video. Uh, Pontem wallet, uh, Pontem is one of the main wallets for, uh, for Aptos. I covered Aptos and actually there's a collaboration between Pontem and layer zero. So there's a way to prob maybe uh, get uh, to be eligible for both of those uh, protocols. 
And you have a bunch of other stuff. So I don't know uh, all of them, of course. Uh, I know some of those DeFi, some of those apps here. But if you're interested in any one of them, for example, if you're interested in Pontem, you can just click on airdrops.io on Pontem and then see what kind of product is that. Uh, visit the website, uh, see what's pro what's the step-by-step -step guide probably because again this is all speculative so it's not like a guarantee that doing that uh you you will definitely get something uh so always remember that you can lose some money because if especially if you're working on the mainnet and you're doing different stuff on ethereum then of course it costs you gas uh, or on any blockchain it costs you gas so of course uh you can you can lose some money along the way so always remember that however those are rather small sums compared to for example trading you just have to pay for the gas for particular actions like bridging the tokens uh, from one chain to another going back that bridge so that's one cost of the gas uh, swapping the tokens you don't have to hold the tokens you just have to swap it one way or the other and then back those are the standard standard actions so again defilama.com and then airdrops.io those are the two great sources for the potential uh protocols that might airdrop you a token at some point if you do some kind of action subscribe to the channel for more news related to airdrops see my previous guides on and tutorials on how to get to sui how to get to layer zero maybe some other chains as uh, chains as well uh, i tend to post almost daily thank you for watching see you in the next episode Goodbye.